Hi everyone, this is Jack from Visual Paradigm. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to use the online drawing tools to draw a class diagram online. The online drawing tools is brought under Vpository, our cloud service. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, you can perform a subscription under vpository.com. I've included a link in the description of this video. Ok, let's start the demonstration. This is the dashboard of Vpository. There are several services provided under Vpository, such as UXLR for managing product backlog, Taskifier for task management, Postmania for you to publish your design online, and post comments to diagrams. In this demonstration, we are going to work with the diagram module, this one. So I select it. On the left hand side, you can see a list of diagram types, such as Archimate, Cross Diagram, Use Case, Sequence Diagram, BPMN, uh, Business Process Diagram, Flowchart, etc. Now select Cross Diagram. You can draw a Cross Diagram from a blank one or to start from any of these templates. I'm going to start from a blank diagram, so I click here. This is a blank class diagram. On the left hand side, there is a pane. Inside the pane, there are some tools like class, NROI, collaboration, and various connectors like generalization, usage, dependency, association, etc. Now I create a class. Select the class button, drag it out, and put it onto the diagram. Release the mouse button to create a class. Give it a name. I name it car. So I want to create some attributes in this class. Right click on the class and select add attribute. Enter the attribute's name, registration num, and its type, which is an integer in this case. Add another attribute. Year, integer again. And I want to add an operation now. Select add operation. Enter the name of the operation, move forward. I've finished creating all the attributes and operations for this class. Now I want to create another class, Engine, which associates with the car class. What I have to do is to move my mouse pointer over the class shape. As you can see, there are several triangles appear around the class shape. Press on any of them and drag it out. Release the mouse button. This is the resource catalog. The resource catalog displays the available types of shapes that can be created from the selected source. In this case, we want an association. So select it. A class is created with an association connected with the source. As you know, associations has not just the connector but also the rows, two rows, from and to. Each row carries properties like aggregation kind, multiplicity, um, navigability and etc. In order to specify these properties, do this. Open the format panel. Select the association. Here you can enter the row and select the multiplicity. Say 1 and the row of the 2 end. Multiplicity again. Position the captions to the place you want to make the diagram look prettier. Repeatedly create the other classes and connectors. And this is the completed diagram. I'm going to save it. Give it a name. And confirm. Now I want to export my work to an image. Select File and Export. Keep the settings unchanged and export. This is the export image. And this is the end of this video. If you are interested in drawing class diagram or other UML diagrams, arguments diagrams, BPM and diagrams online, I invite you to subscribe to Vpository and give it a try. I've included a link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.